Let's start with 6A Region 4. The Hueytown Golden Gophers at McAdory. A battle for the two seed there. First drive of the third quarter. Quarterback Jim Ron Ellington rumbles down inside the five yard line. That set up a field goal for the Gophers. And it was 20 to 3 McAdory. Later in the third, Hueytown set the punt. The kick will bounce off the shin of return man Jamari Harris. And the Golden Gophers will fall on the loose ball. Now down three scores with just a few minutes on the clock. The McAdory Yellow Jackets go to the air. A clean pocket for Jacob Clopton. He's up a prayer and it's caught on the deflection by Darion Davis. And he goes 78 yards to the end zone. What a crazy play to keep hope alive. Still down two scores. Only hope for McAdory the onside kick. It's recovered by Hueytown. Hunter Banks with a recovery and Hueytown wins 20 to 15. Welcome to the Friday Night Blitz. One of the marquee games of the night, number six Parker at number five Mountain Brook. This one for first place in 6A Region 5. In the first quarter, the Spartans were driving, but John Cooper is picked off by Carlton Duncan. That great Parker D halts the Mountain Brook drive. In the second, the Spartans, though, will get it going. And who else but Cole Gamble? Cuts to the outside, tripped up after a huge 15-yard gain. Now inside the 10, Gamble in the Wildcat runs to the outside. He's in for the score. Sparty up 7-0. The thundering herd answers back, though. This young superstar, Naeem Offord, finds the hole, cuts to the outside for a 12-yard game. Parker inside the 5, Offord behind the big fellas, gets in. And we are tied up at 7. Third quarter, Parker down on the one-inch line of Mountain Brook. The big guy, Jordan Crawford, under center, stretches for the score but loses the ball. And Mountain Brook recovers at the goal line. That would help lead to a field goal, and the Spartans would go up 10-7. Now under a minute to go, fourth and go at the one for Parker. It's offered again, going in for the winning touchdown. Parker wins 13-10 and clinches the region title. I feel good to win a region championship in 2014 to this team. That was our first goal, and we got some more goals to go. We're going to keep that to ourselves. Trying to understand that discipline is going to win this game. And we've been undisciplined all year, and it finally showed that we were disciplined, man. I want to I want to get my hats out to my players. We had to bounce back from our, our, double, our, our little L from, that we took from Pleasant Grove. So we all, like, we just been, it kind of irritated us a little bit when we lost because, you know, that was a goal that we had. A goal was to go undefeated, but, you know, it's football, it's life. So we just prepared ourselves for the season. And congrats to the herd. The king of 6A Region 4 is Hillcrest, ranked third in the state and unbeaten. The Patriots at Bessemer City tonight. And the Patriots facing a third and 20 on their first drive of the game. They move the chains, though, on the completion here to Caden Smith. A few plays later, Hillcrest is going to the ground game. And it's the dive play to Jay Sean Land. And the Hillcrest Patriots jump on top early. 7 to nothing. So to the second quarter we go. Bessemer City with their biggest play of the night. Linebacker JV on Madison with the interception and the Purple Tigers grab some momentum. But as soon as they gain it, they give it right back because two plays later, Evan Williams with the pick for the Patriots. And then a few plays later, the pads back in the end zone. Santonius Brown goes in for the score. Hillcrest wins it 28 to nothing. The Thompson Warriors got back on the winning track last week with a 40 to 14 win over Hewitt Trustville. Tonight, the Warriors at Oak Mountain and on the second play of the game, Thompson's A.J. Green will rip off a 66 yard touchdown and Thompson was up seven nothing just like that. And then on the next Thompson drive, Trent Seaborn, who threw for 358 yards last week, airs this one out for Angel Jones. It's a 34 yard touchdown. Thompson's up 14 to nothing, making it look easy. Early in the second quarter, Thompson quarterback Zach Sims under center now. Hits Colby Landrew on a perfectly thrown slant pass. He goes in to make it 28 0. Still in the second, running back Michael Dijon goes right, cuts in, and finds daylight for 17 yards to make it 35 0. And Thompson wins 68 7. Also in 7 A Region 3, the winner with the inside track on the two seed between Vestavia Hills and Hewitt Trustville. The Rebels strike first. Keon Richardson, 15-yard TD catch, 7-0 Rebs. Back come the Huskies, though, and Peyton Floyd, what a night. What a half. 30 yards here on the touchdown run, and the Huskies are on top 20-7. to 
But on the ensuing kickoff, take a look at this. Vestavia Hills, Chase Webb finds a crease and finds a lot of green grass in front of him. 94 yards on the kickoff return to cut the lead to 20 to 14. But we mentioned Floyd. Here he is with a lot of room, 70 yards worth. He had about 250 yards rushing in the first half alone. Here's another touchdown for Floyd. He finished with six touchdowns in the game, and Hewitt Trustful wins it 55-27. Hey, last night, Benjamin Russell improved their playoff resume the way, with a 41-14 win over Pelham. The star of the game was, without a doubt, Auburn commit Malcolm Simmons. He opened the scoring with a 62-yard punt return for a touchdown. Check out the speed by the 2024 Auburn commit. He also had a 68-yard catch and run. Simmons also a track star for the Wildcats. And this dude was running away from the Pelham Panthers last night. Benjamin Russell is 5-2, and 3-1 and one in Region 3. Coming up next on the Blitz, more highlights, including the Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week between Southeastern and Locust Fork. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Blitz. The Friday Night Rivals Game of the Week was a Blunt County robbery game between Southeastern and unbeaten and eighth ranked Locust Fork. The Hornets' historic start just continued point. tonight. Their firepower on display all night long at Pate Field, especially in the first half. First possession, Dylan Dino Embry on the quarterback keeper. They won't catch him. It's 7 0. Then on the next series, it's Embry again. And they're not going to catch him this time either. And it's 14 to nothing Hornets, 21 nothing after the first quarter. In the second, Embry with a play fake, going to his left, cutting, sidestepping, slashing, dashing, 45 yards, and it's 28 nothing Locust Fork. And the kids in the stands, yeah, they were loving it. By the way, Embry also plays inside linebacker, so you don't want to throw in his direction because he can do this. The pick six made it 35 to nothing. Yeah, this defense is really, really good for Locust Fork. Titus White with a 33-yard pick six. Locust Fork wins 49 to nothing. The Hornets a perfect 8-0. The whole state of Alabama was able to watch you guys on this field. What do you think you proved to everyone? I think we proved that we can compete with the second defense in the state, and I don't um, think we're a little bit underrated right now. And uh, I hope we get up there on the, the leader boys pretty soon because we're not underrated. That means a lot, especially, you know, as close as they are right here to us. But, you know, we enjoy it today and we'll enjoy it tomorrow and then we'll get back to work on Sunday for next week. The Locust Fork Hornets hoisting the Game of the Week trophy. Congrats to Dino, Coach Adams, and the guys. Let's go West. 4A Region 3, ACA hosting West Blockton tonight. Kai Young will drop back. He'll hit Bubba Lester on the screen. He makes one man miss and he takes off for six. 21 yard touchdown. ACA goes up 8 0. Then on the ensuing possession for the Tigers. Simple handoff to Nate Barron from 27 yards out. He shakes off a defender and cuts the lead to 8 to 6. But with 30 seconds to go in the half, Young drops back, hits a wide open Davis Dare in the back of the end zone. 4 6. Not sure we have a final on this one, but ACA was winning at the half. Next week, we will be in Leeds for the Battle of Highway 411 between the Green Wave and Moody. Tonight, Leeds getting ready by taking on winless Alexandria and Taylor Gator. Quarterback makes kind of a bad pitch there, but Gator fields it on the hop. And then there goes Gator running through the Alexandria Valley Cubs all the way for the touchdown. And then more Wave. This time, it's going to be Xavier Dale. Number 22 is going to get the handoff, and he will go up the middle. Getting this uh, handoff from the quarterback, he'll go up the middle, he'll slip tackles, and then he goes in, finds the uh, end zone there for the touchdown. And then take a look at this big hole that they open up for big number 35, Grayson Ford, and Leeds bounces back from that loss to Southside, beating the Valley Cubs 48-14. Also tonight, Clay Chalkville with a 72 to nothing win over Huffman tonight. 